<laughs> good morning. Nope, not good morning. Good evening. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Cooking in the Galley. Today we're going to be cooking some fish. This is, I'm not actually sure what it is. I just took it out of the freezer um, like yesterday, I think. And it could be grouper. It could be snapper. Um, what else could it be? I know grouper season's closed, but it was kind of December it was closed so this could be but it's kind of small for a grouper um, oh you know what I think this is I think this is that Amico Jack or I think it's an Amico Jack is that Amico Jack that we caught with good. okay <laughs> we're gonna go with Amico Jack I think that's what we caught when Kayvon came out with us on our boat we did that offshore fishing um, so we're gonna cook that up today and we're gonna um, pan fry it and use Parmesan cheese and Ritz crackers. I guess we'll call it Ritz Parmesan Amico Jack. <laughs> but anyways, I've got all my ingredients out, everything ready to go. I'm gonna be using some olive oil, Parmesan cheese, some garlic salt, uh, a little bit of black and red fish seasoning. I'm gonna cook some rice today, um, Ritz crackers. Ziploc bag because this is gonna come in handy, useful. Got some salt and pepper. I'm gonna cook up some green beans and onion. We're gonna use this one because he's starting to grow. <laughs> and uh, just some sweet rings, peppers. I'm gonna put these in the little oven down here and our fish, so let's get cooking. I'm gonna start here with a little bit of olive oil. Uh, this is for my green beans, just, just a little bit. Because what I'm gonna do is cook them, kind of like caramelize them with the onions. It's pretty good. Uh, let's get these uh, onions ready to be chopped here. I'm going to use this knife today. <laughs> I like cooking these onions quite a bit. Uh, they just got a real good flavor and after they're cooked they almost look like they're um, sort of burned almost but they're not actually. They're just cooked really really darkly. You can cook them less with less time if you want. So these, I'm just gonna slice them. I don't have to go crazy on them. Just a little bit here. Put them in my pan here. Onions. <laughs> Those are a little strong. We're gonna put it on probably Probably high, medium high. I'm just gonna throw my green beans in there as well. Right. So put that lid on, get that cooked up, and I'll probably, um, I may later add some butter just because it makes it good. I'm just gonna add my little onion, not onion rings, sweet pepper rings to bowl here. Alright, two bags of sweet pepper stir stick here. I'll probably cut it down a little bit. It's on eight, but maybe it'll be like four. I think this is the hot burner too. Yeah, that's hot. Hot, hot. <laughs> okay. So what I'm going to do is put a little bit of olive oil. Just drizzle it over these peppers there. Spilling them everywhere. Okay. And then I'm actually going to turn this down to probably two. It sounds like it's cooking pretty sizzling, pretty good in there. Alright, I'm going to add a little bit of garlic salt to my sweet pepper rings. And one more thing that I'm going to add that I've like adding lately is this stuff here it's like a, it's a meat rub but it kind of gives it a little bit of a barbecue flavor it's really good it's got a little salt in it already so you don't need to put salt on these so now that that's in there i'm going to give it a little shake in <laughs> spilling them everywhere Oh 
I'm gonna have to sweep the floor tonight. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay, and then in my pan, I'll just dump them right on there, spread them out a little bit. Now these, I'm going to put in my little toaster oven. So I'm gonna put that in there. And I got some settings here. We're going to roast. And whoops, turn this over to veggies. It says 420 minutes, that might be all right. Whoops, <laughs> we'll try 420 minutes, see how they look. I'm gonna move these to the front burner here so we can get my favorite burner back here going for the, uh, the uh, fish. I'm going to start with the fish by putting just a little bit of olive oil in the pan and also some butter. I'll put one stick of butter in there. Okay. Alright, so now here's the fun part. The uh, mixture of the crackers and the Parmesan cheese. So this is where the Ziploc bag comes in useful. I'm just gonna crush these. Mm. One more. And crush them up real good. <laughs> and once you've got them once you got them crushed up pretty good, and then get some Parmesan cheese. Put that Parmesan cheese in there. I don't know how much I'm going to put in. I just kind of dump some in until it's maybe not quite equal the amount of crackers, but close. I think that'll be good. <laughs> Struggle with my lid. <laughs> oh, did you see that? That was awesome. <laughs> I tossed it right in there. Leave it in the mouth. Alright. Let's these up a little bit. They're looking almost look like burned on the bottom. And that's good. Because that'll kind of give it that flavor. But I'm going to add some butter to these also. Just like half stick of butter. Yes, I cook with a lot of butter. And I'm also going to turn that down just a touch. Alright. Now for the fish, mix it up a little bit. And add a little bit of blackening seasoning. It doesn't matter what flavor blackening seasoning. Just enough to give it a little bit of a dusting in there. And also a little bit more garlic salt. <laughs> a little bit more garlic salt. Okay, that's good. I don't have to measure these out. I just pour it in. Mm. for the fish. And I'm putting these just right in the bag because I'm going to stir it up. I'm going to take this bag of fish here and just shake it around a little bit. Try to put all those pieces of fish in there. I like to take this fish and just kind of... i got several pieces in here, but I kind of smash it down into that mixture so it sticks a little better. Just kind of smash it down till it's pretty well coated. See that? And I'll put that right in the pan. This is really, really good, by the way, if you've ever had fish like this. I've cooked it a few times. Um, everybody seems to like it. All right, there's my last piece there. So this I can just throw away. Yeah, we had a lot of fun with Kayvon and we went out fishing with us on our boat. 
that was a lot of fun. We told him he, him and his wife, well, his whole family has got to come out with us. And we had so many times there that I didn't really film. Maybe I should have, but it's kind of kind of hard to, because you never know what's going to happen. But there was at one point overnight where we were, uh, we were just doing some night fishing, trying to hook up a sword, and a couple of mahi-mahi came swimming up right behind the boat in the lights. And later on, a few minutes later, bigger ones came by, and I said to Mike, go get the spear gun. <laughs> he went and got the spear gun, but they never came back. Unfortunately, they never came back. All right, so these, um, let me show you these onions real quick. See how these onions are looking nice and darkened that's how they want it you want it to look and that's about the time where i add a little bit of garlic salt i like garlic salt stir it around a little bit Put it on there and the fish just give it a little shake sometimes it keeps it from sticking to the bottom just wiggle it back and forth wiggle it i don't know all right let's get started on the rice him up here, I guess. Turn this one on high. Put a little salt in there too. Just so I don't have to put salt in it later. Huh. Uh, so the fish looks like it's ready to be turned. Find me a flipper. I'll we'll use this little stainless steel flipper. Right. See, it's not sticking yet. Everybody says get these non-stick pan, non-stick pan. Well, if you use all the right stuff and you know what heat to put it on, you don't really need a non-stick pan. Usually stuff doesn't stick. Put these guys around. They're ready to be flipped. Looking good. Ouch. I usually turn on my fan, but it's so loud. Sometimes I just open the window. Okay. Shake them a little bit. Let's check on these little sweet, I don't know why I keep wanting to call them onion rings. These little sweet pepper rings. Looking good. It says there's about eight minutes left on those, which is probably about right. By the time the fish is done, those will be done. Everything should be done all at the same time. And I actually think that these green beans are done now. That's about what they look like. I like them like that. That's really good that way. My water's boiling here for the rice, so let me shut that one off. So equal amount of rice and water. This is just instant rice. Real easy because I like it easy. Put the lid on. And I'm just going to set it aside over here. And this fish, I think, is just about done. It's getting a little hot and the current down a little bit. I need a two. Because it's getting a little crispy. I see it getting a little dark. That's one thing with those crackers. You can't have too much heat because the crackers will start to burn on you. So you gotta be be careful with them crackers. So I just turned it on low. Sometimes I'll just take it off the heat for a minute altogether. Set it up here. Just so it can kind of cool down in the pan because I don't want those crackers to burn. Now I'm not gonna use this today, but honey is really good on fish. Uh, I don't think I've tried it on like, you know, like fried or pan seared type. Well, maybe pan seared, but not fried like we're doing now because it's got its own flavor but if you ever cook um like broil it this is really good on your fish so that's just a little hint there and this is actually florida florida keys wild honey very good i'm not going to use that today all right so the fish is probably just about done we'll use real plates today my dad says use real plates <laughs> Like, want 
test what see if these look like they're done. I knew they were getting a little crispy on the other side. So a little darker. But that's okay. It's not burned. It's just a little darker. And these are actually done, I think. Oh, I just opened one up. Yeah, they're done. Once the fish is done, I'm gonna put it on a paper towel to soak up some of that butter. Put it on there. And then I will transfer it to plate later. Mmm, that's good. Let's check out these uh, peppers. That looks good. Those look delicious. And there they are. Those look good, don't they? And they're a little burnt on the edge, crispy on the edges, but that makes them good. So those are done. And the rice should be done too, just give, make, give it a little mix. Sometimes I add a little bit of butter to the rice. I put something on the pan first, but I didn't today. A little bit more on that one. Alright. Yeah, usually the peppers don't stick like that, but it's probably because I didn't put anything in the pan first. Mm, doesn't that fish look good? Delicious. Put that on there. This fish is yummy. And we got some leftovers too. Leftovers. All right, so there it is. And this fish we caught ourselves. Doesn't that look good? <laughs> All right, well, thank you guys for watching. If you wouldn't mind, please subscribe, hit that like button, and hit that notification bell so you can be notified anytime I post up a new video. We also do videos of uh, Idle Hour. We are uh, refitting Idle Hour and videos on Treasure Times as well, which is this boat. It's a lot of fun. So I'll see you guys next time.